Hello, my name is Richard and this is my lovely wife Erica. Hello. We've been coming to the way about 11 years now. We've been married 15 years and we have four beautiful daughters. And this is our testimony. We had gotten married at a, at a young age. I was 21, she was 18. Uh, we really didn't know how to have a relationship. Uh, we had a child already. Uh, I really didn't know how to be a, a father. I was drinking a lot, I was smoking, and, and not, just, not, not being there for our family. I was losing hope in my husband. I didn't want to be with, with, with Richard anymore because of the things that he was doing, the things that he was bringing home. I decided that this was over and I chose to leave. I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't know, I always leaned on my own understanding and I, I, I couldn't have, I, I didn't figure it out. I didn't have any answers, but I knew this time, this, this was my rock bottom. This was not going to happen to our family. I did not want divorce. I did not want my children going back and forth. So there I was, I ran to the church. Um, I started getting plugged in in discipleship groups. Uh, P12 at the time, and just started uh, ministering with, with other, uh, other believers. At the time I knew Richard was going to church and getting plugged in and he started speaking to me different. And I started noticing that and he would tell me, God bless, uh, God bless you after our conversations. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, you know, just brushed it off. But I started getting people coming into work and ministering to me. I would talk to them about my marriage and they would just tell me go back to church, talk to your husband, and God will do things that you've never seen before. From there, we just talked about our relationship, we talked about our kids. I let him know that I was ready to come back home. And it was a little tough at first, so we started to do uh, marriage counseling. I, I wanted her to go to church, but I still had to under understand, you know, I had to be between her and God. We were coming to church every weekend and every Wednesday, and we were getting plugged in. After being together for you know, almost 15 years, we finally learned each other and more about God. Yeah. And that's what I've always wanted. I wanted us to do things together, you know, God in our lives and in our family, our home. And and this is where we're at now. In 2017, we were $64,000 in debt with 21 credit cards. Even though we were getting stuff paid, it was still all upside down and it was leading to arguments, leading to justification on why we do this and why we do that. Um, so we found ourselves in, in, in the prospering class in 2020 again for the second time. And then fast forward two years in May 2022, we are $8,000 uh, uh, to go in, in our debt. Praise God because uh, it wouldn't have happened if he would have, you know, had this church and the resources and the tools for us to use and for us to be faithful and committed. You know, we were doing things on our own. So, you know, we had to really um, get right with God and have faith that God was going to help us with our finances. And this is where we're at now. And I just want to encourage you, if you guys are, any of you guys going through a, a, a season of of destruction or, or within your marriage or finances or, or your kids are not listening. Trust in the Lord and He will prevail. He will show you. Even when it, it doesn't seem like you guys, uh, continue to trust in it, be consistent. Wow, what a powerful testimony that was from Erica and Richard. My name is Diana and this is my husband, Bryant. We're blessed to be the youth pastors here at the Way World Outreach, where we serve with Richard and Erica and also in our discipleship groups. By the way, we have a youth conference next month, June 10th, 11th, and 12th. Parents, make sure to register your teens. One thing I believe Erica and Richard did was to acknowledge God in their finances, which reminds me of a scripture in Proverbs 3, five through six. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. And today we have an opportunity to acknowledge God with our finances, with three ways to give. The first is our personal favorites on the Way World Outreach app that you can download on your phone right now. We love to set it up on recurring giving. And the second way is to go onto any browser and type in theway.gives. And the third option is in person. You can get up out of your seat during this next worship song, drop it off on any of our kiosks located throughout the entire sanctuary or Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at our front office. And now we have an opportunity to worship God through our giving. So let's go ahead and get up out of our seats and welcome back our worship team for another song. <laughs> 